Hi guys. I decided to try it on my personal page. Let me let Alicia know that I'm on my personal page. Um, and see how that goes because we got to get this going. Uh, thank you so much for putting up with us. Mm -hmm. So let me let everyone know that I'm on my personal page. Hi, people. Oh, hi, Adila. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Sandy. Let's see if I can see if I can actually let Alicia join us from here. <laughs> Hi, Mohammed. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh. Alita, let's see. So you're saying that I should click on somebody here and then see if I can have them join? Oh, there's Richard. Oh, the, hi, Alicia. Again, here's Alicia. And it's, oh, let's see. Let's see. If this works, <laughs> let's see. Let me know. Hi, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. It worked. Finally. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what was up in your phone with your um page. Page, yeah, because because hubby googled it. And he said to me, he's like, if you go on your personal page, it might be less complicated. So there's something with the page, there's something with the red wine talking page that disallows us from allowing you to hang on here. <laughs> oh my God. Now we have to let everyone know that we're here. I know that's crazy. That is Can you crazy. share it on your um, red wine page? Yeah, I can do that. I can okay. totally do that. We can totally do that. That will work. Let's see if I can do that while we're here. Perfect. And I'm trying to our, yes. My, yes. my mom's not tech savvy either, so I'm trying to set her up as well. Ah, so. Perfect. Set her up. <laughs> set her up. We can set up. Guys, please bear with us while we set everyone up. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure how she's gonna see this. If she's not, do you? Have, does she have to be your? Oh, okay. okay. Set it up here. So I was able to share it on my red wine talking page. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect. I'm afraid perfect. to share now because <laughs> I don't want to. I'm like, there's no way we're gonna try to go through this stress another time. There's no way. <laughs> And now I, Hi, really need some red wine. now I definitely need some red wine. I didn't think I needed I it before, know. but now I definitely need it. <laughs> I think I need a shot. <laughs> very true. Very, very true. <laughs> Let's just get it all backed up. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you Woo. for your patience, Alicia. Thank you oh. so much. I oh no. I mean, so I'm not tech savvy either. So right. I'm right. right there with you. I was like, what do we do? Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea what we do either because the Facebook Live and requesting to join, it always seemed pretty simple, but for some reason I wasn't getting that option with you. And that's fine, that's fine. Let's not leave, let's leave that right here. Let's Moving on. Right <laughs> there. And let's jump right into my conversation and yes. why I wanted to have you on my show and my debut interview. So I'm gonna tell you right now 
why I wanted to have you here, right? Before okay. we even jump into the questions. Because I see your posts daily. Mm -hmm. And I've known you for a very long time. I have. And even though we were never close in the beginning, I remember seeing you and thinking, oh my God, why is she such a bitch? She looks so uptight. What is going on with her? Is it that she doesn't like me? What is it about her? Is it? And I remember thinking, I don't know why she's like that. But then later on, when I got to know you, I'm like, well, she's not like that so maybe it was my own perception but you said to me that there are people that you've met that thought you, that you were unapproachable and no i no I, that's the first time that i've i've heard somebody say that and the only thing that i can think of is that i am a shy person yes vivian like you were saying i am inherently shy so with some people, some people will not believe that if I, if m me saying this right now, they'd be like, what? But then for the most part, I'm shy. So that may come across as being cold and distant because I can be quiet when I first meet people. So it takes time with a lot of people for me to kind of warm up, warm and, up. Yeah. and yeah, and just kind of come out of my shell. So maybe that's it. Yeah. That's the only I thing I can do. I mean, Granted, I can be bitchy, but <laughs> only when needed. Right. <laughs> only when warranted. Only when warranted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hi, I, Mitch and Lou. I, People I, saying hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Mitch, Mish. I'm not sure how to say your name. Sorry. Yes, Mish. She loves your sweater. Oh, wow. Yes. Thank you. I love your sweater, too. It's from my boutique. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I honestly, I admire everything about you. I, you. I admire how you run your business. <laughs> you I, I, I love how you promote your stuff. I love your videos and how fun they are. And I'm like, you know what? I need to interview her. I need to ask her a few questions about how is it that she got to this point? So, so my question to you is like, what made you decide to open up this online boutique? Well, okay, so it's kind of a long story, but okay. basically I was looking for something to do from home that I can do in my own time, on my own terms, whenever I'm able to. And um, I was just scrolling through Facebook one day and I saw this ad where this company helps you to start your own boutique. So they, yeah, so they help you build your website. They offer you inventory for a certain fee per month and guide you on how to expand and grow your business. So I have um, fibromyalgia. So for... Every day it affects me and if I'm not feeling well, the one thing that I do is I go on social media. And if I'm not on social media, I'm looking at clothes online. So I was like, well, this is the perfect opportunity for me because I'm on social media all the time and I'm looking at clothes, why not try it? So I talked to a very good friend of mine as well as my mother who gives the best advice and, um, they were like, go for it. So I'm like, okay. So like two and a half years ago, maybe I started and I absolutely love it. I mean, the best part for me is interacting with my customers and you became a customer and that's how we became close. Although we've yeah. known each other for so long. And let me just tell you too, that you also with your posts and your videos inspire me as well. So thank you for that. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Because, you know, we always need that kind of motivation to keep yeah. going. And definitely you're one of those people that inspire me too. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, you and I never got a chance to speak one-on-one -on -one before you moved away from this area. Mm -hmm. But just the way that you promote yourself and your business 
it has drawn me closer and closer and closer to you because it 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 looks to me like if it's coming from within it's coming from deep within from your heart like that you truly enjoy what you do i do and that, yeah and that it is your passion that it is something that that you that you are so happy to be doing and that's one of the reasons why i love supporting you so thank you before that though before all of that I realized that you had written a book mm -hmm. about self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And that to me is very important. And I and I remember, I think I remember you having a target audience of the younger, mm -hmm. of the younger people. And I want you to speak more to that for us. Like what is it that made you decide to do that? Well, um, my background is in mental health counseling. And before I got fibromyalgia, I was working as a child and family therapist as a registered mental health counselor intern. So while I was working with mostly children and families, um, I thought way back then, that was like 1999 or 2000, um, I said, well, I would like to write books to provide tools for kids and for teens. So when I got sick and um, I wasn't able to do therapy sessions anymore because this illness is so unpredictable that I can't you know, set up an appointment for a session and then if I'm not feeling well, I have to cancel. So I had to leave, unfortunately. So um, just based off of that, I was like, you know what, let me do this. and. As a young woman, and even up into my early 30s, I suffered with low self-esteem. And um, I made the conscious effort to improve my self-esteem. So I thought, well, if I'm gonna write a book, let me start where I think it affects girls the most. So that's teenagers. So I said, well, I didn't wanna write just a textbook format type of book where you tell children or tell the teen girls what to do so i wrote i wrote it in a novel form so it's a love story so throughout the book the main character is is consciously trying to improve her self-esteem and as she does that she becomes more confident and then she eventually falls in love so i thought that would be more interesting for girls to actually read you know wow that is amazing. That is amazing because it, that spoke to me because I always felt like if I wanted to reach out to the younger community as well. So that's one of the things that spoke to me like big time, big time. Are you, are you planning, um, are you planning to write something more? Did you I was in the process of, uh writing my second book and then I started the business. So it was kind of a juggling, but now that I'm kind of more used to this business and I know exactly what I need to get done, now I can continue writing the second book. The second book is kind of like a, a sequel, but it's based on the mom. So the mom saw her daughter in, uh, improving her self-esteem. So now she's inspired to do the same thing. So now this is her story and her journey of how she improved her self-esteem. So I'm almost finished the rough draft, but I, I haven't gotten to the ending yet. So I need to get to the ending. And then once I do that, it's a lot easier to just go over it and rewrite it, you know, so that it sounds better then, you know? And then eventually in the book, the main character also has a younger sister. So I want to also write a book for young girls, like around eight, nine years old, to inspire them to improve their self-esteem as well. You know what, self-esteem is so important and I, I wanna give kudos to you for recognizing that because I have a young daughter, I have a young son, and I always say to them that you have to recognize your self-worth before you before you venture into anything else because mm -hmm. self-worth is going to get you the boundaries self-worth is going to get you the respect 
and self-worth is going to get you the love that that we're all seeking so i always when, say the the most important relationship that you have is with your self-esteem because that's your jumping off point to for your career for your uh love life for your friendships yes. for your family relationships so it that's the most important relationship anyone can have is with their self-esteem I agree with you 100% and that's one of the things that made you con made me connect with you when you wrote that book because I think it's it's the most important thing if if you can't value yourself how are you going to value others exactly. how are you going to value anything else in life if you mm -hmm. can't value yourself so mm -hmm. that's one of the things that that drew me to you from the very beginning and then let's not, let's not even forget the clothes <laughs> that you sell in your boutique like i mean i remember like when you post everything i i i want to love everything and i'm like am i overdoing doing it but then i i really love fashion i'm a fashionista myself and i love different things so here i'm here i am on your page and on your group just loving everything Thank you. and thinking to myself well am i overdoing it i'm like i'm not overdoing it because i really love it all and i can see it fitting into my wardrobe so what is it that made you decide to open up that online boutique just um i just that what what i said before about just looking at trying to find something that I can do at home yes. that is based on my own terms and my own time when I'm able to, when I'm feeling well enough to, and just scrolling and seeing that ad and realizing, oh my God, I'm lying down here not feeling well, but I can still do this. I can yes. still post, I can still yes. promote, I can still engage with my customers, which that's the best part for me is when somebody is happy with what they get but not only that but you're in my vip group and just the silly posts and stuff that we do i mean and especially now where we're not able to go out and socialize like we want to you guys make me laugh i mean i enjoy that interaction every day with you guys because it's so much fun you know it's it, it gets me out of that deep dark hole that you can get into because you're not out there socializing. So I just have to say to thank you to you and to the rest of my customers for keeping me, you know, laughing and, and, and enjoying my day. Yeah. 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 And so, so we style, um, I just kind of wanted to combine the two to me, fashion or having a sense of style kind of goes with your personality. So I kind of dress, for how I'm feeling or just an expression of me. And now that I feel more comfortable in my own skin in, in my early 30s, when I started developing and increasing my self-esteem, I just went all out and just, you know, started dressing better and just feeling better about myself. And then dressing better also makes you feel better about yourself. Thank you. Thank you. So, you yeah. just nailed it. You just nailed it. That there are times when I wake up and I don't feel normal. And I feel like a little bit like iffy and like just not in a good mood. But if I put on something that's really cute, all of a sudden I feel so much better. You so know. I think, that, I think that, that is definitely something that uplifts you when you definitely. decide to dress. Yeah, when you decide to dress when you decide to dress better than what you're feeling it totally i think you're saying, saying to post a link so i'll post the link um once we're finished so but yes, thanks definitely, my stuff. Definitely, hey. post it. definitely post it so i also want you to share a little bit of fibromyalgia because a lot of people don't even know that this don't even know what this word is they don't even know that this exists so I want you to share with them what is it that that fibromyalgia myalgia is about. Okay, so um, the the main symptoms are pain. So you you feel pain throughout your body, and extreme fatigue, and um, brain fog, where you just can't think straight, you can't concentrate, and um, 
for some people, it doesn't affect them 24 seven. For some people, they're a lot worse off than I am. And then there are people like me where it's, it affects me 24 seven. And it just, the only way I can describe it is, you know, when you get a bad flu and you have no energy and you have body aches and you just want to stay in bed all day. Basically that's my life. And then some days it gets worse, but uh, yeah. So back in 2001, when I was diagnosed, um, some doctors were kind of dismissive of it as if it wasn't a real condition. And that was very, that was very like heartbreaking and disturbing to me. And I knew something was wrong with my body and you were telling me, no, there's nothing wrong. And you're making me seem like it's in my head. So, but now as, as time has gone on and progressed, more doctors are more aware of it. More people are more aware of it because you can see ads now on TV about pain medications that help with fibromyalgia. So yeah, so it's basically pain. You can feel pain in your muscles, your joints, you get muscle spasms, um, you're tired all the time. And the brain fog is kind of scary for me. There are times when I can't even, for, for me on just on a regular day to fill out just a doctor's form, I have to really concentrate. To drive now, I have to really concentrate. Whereas before that's, you know, it's just easy for you to do that numbers i get confused very quickly now and then on days where the brain fog is really bad i sometimes it's not even registering what somebody's saying to me or i'm not able to express myself so i just say the only thing i can say is like i can't talk now because that's the only thing that can come out like i know what i want to say but then i can't say it so yeah so today is a good day i'm in pain Yay. i'm tired a little bit of brain fog, but today is one of my good days. And I'm glad. I, I just want to say the one thing that this illness has taught me is to look on the brighter side of life. I'm a lot more positive now. I'm my own life coach. It's like I have to motivate myself to just do simple tasks, just to even get out of bed because you just want to stay in bed and not move. So it's just you know, looking on the brighter side and motivating yourself and other people inspiring me to, you know, get up and move. So yeah, I, I the one thing I can take from the, from this that's positive is that, that now I'm actually more positive. I used to be very cynical and sarcastic. I, I mean, I still have a cynical side now, but compared to before, I'm actually perky now, which was never me. So... <laughs> You know, so, yeah. I think that comes with age. I think that comes with That's age. True, true. Yes, I think it comes with age where you're like a little bit more settled, mm -hmm. a little bit less disturbed, and you're able to accept more of the things that life brings to us. True. I think that's all it is. Yeah, I think that's all it is. But 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 that being said, I love how your mom supports you. Oh my God, my parents and my brother are amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah. I love that because not everybody has that support and I see that support that, that they show you and, I, and that's one of the things that I have to say that, that I can see that is what is, is motivating and inspiring to you to keep going because what if you didn't have that type of parent? Yes, uh, very you true. Probably, yeah, you probably. I don't know where, where I would today. be. Yes. Honest to God, don't know where I'd be yeah. without you. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting Terry eyed because. Yeah. Really, I don't yeah. know where I'd be without my parents and without my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. Totally understandable. So let me ask you something else. Um, in regards to the boutique, was fashion always a passion of yours? Um. Not when I was younger. In my 20s, I kind of dabbled in it. But like I said, yeah. when I became more comfortable in my own skin, when I made the effort to improve my self-confidence, that's when I made the effort more in terms of the way I dressed. Right. I've always loved fashion. 
<laughs> which is why I asked you that question. And not only do I only like fashion, but my daughter is very much into fashion as well. And I pray that one day she and I will do some type of collaboration in regards That's to fashion. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I we we both really love it. We, we we have a passion when i say we have a passion for fashion we totally have a passion for fashion. it's it's an art form too so yes yes she started she started her degree in fashion and then she wanted to change it up to psychology because she's very much like me in regards to figuring out how the mind works with our hearts and with the people around us so i told her you know what you're young explore it what mm -hmm. it is that your mind and heart is telling you to do please figure it out i'm not here to tell you what to do but you need to do what you like and you need to do what you enjoy so that being said as an entrepreneur right and as someone that is out there with with your book inspiring the young ones and motivating the young ones what is it that you would say say to the young people because they are the ones that are going to carry us through to believe the next level. in yourself that's yeah. number one believe yeah. in yourself yeah. believe that you can do it because you can you yeah. can and as long as you have that belief and then you put in the effort you can do anything you set your mind to do yeah i agree 100 percent I agree 100%. You know, you just have to put in the work. Believe in yourself. Absolutely. Believe in what you want to do. Believe in your dream. Believe in your aspirations. And just put in the work that's going to take you there along with others. Mm -hmm. Wow. Definitely. Thank you so much, Alicia. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for putting up with the difficulty. Oh, no. Yeah. I, was I was in the same boat with you. Lost as can be. So. Yes. <laughs> Oh my I not. Thanks to my husband. He said, you know what? It's probably something with the pages, with the four she is beautiful, with the Alicia Mami, with the red wine talking. <laughs> Just try to go on your personal page and see where it goes from there. And you know what? I'm glad that we did it because we finally got it done. Yes. Thank <laughs> you so, so much for, for inviting me, for interviewing me. I so appreciate it. Really, I truly do. <laughs> Thank you so much for your patience and I look forward to all of your posts every day, every <laughs> single day and keep doing what you do because honestly it inspires me and I think it inspires a lot of us and all of the fashion, I think it gets us going to keep getting through each and every day. Like you said, even if we have to go to the post office in one of your outfits, then that is something that we look forward to. That is so definitely to. It, yes. may, it makes you feel good. So why not? Yes. yes. You I think what you put on what you what you like, you feel good and then it makes the rest of your day. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Take good care and guys, thank you so much for joining. Bye guys, thanks for your patience with us. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for putting up with us. <laughs> and take the care and say hi to your entire family for me. It's I will. Carol. She's a sweet. I will. I will. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. Bye.